Hello and welcome to the Wood Framing Wall Plus Getting Started video number 9. In this video, we're going to look at how to number walls, framing elements, and parts. After automatically framing walls, you will notice that each framing element contains data for scheduling, documentation, and CNC exporting. For example, under Identity Data, you will find different element arc parameter values. You can set these values in framing configurations under Element Mark Definitions table. The same applies to sheeting and paneling parts, as you can modify values in mark settings of sheeting or paneling configurations. However, framing elements as well as walls and parts still need to be numbered if you want to create assemblies. You can start numbering your elements by navigating to Number Elements tool. Firstly, we should start with walls, because without numbering walls, we cannot automate assembly creation. When using number of walls, the wood framing add-on automatically fills in mark instance parameter for each wall using predefined configurations. Once walls are numbered, we can go ahead and number structural framing and structural connection elements by clicking on Number Elements command. The add-on will now automatically insert values in several instance parameters, including FM sort mark. The value of this parameter is used in tag labels. Also, the add-on automatically filled parameters for CNC machines. Similar principles apply when numbering parts. However, you can always change which parameters you want to number and how you want to number them. So now let's look at numbering configurations, which can be found under number elements menu or configs menu. At the moment, we are looking at default numbering configuration. You can rename it or duplicate it and create your own one as well. In this dialog, you will also find three different tabs. Right now, for example, we're controlling numbering configurations for structural framing and structural connection family instance text parameters. You can also control numbering for parts and walls in other two tabs. All numbering rules for different parameters that you see in this dialog are created using AJCAD sort mark add-on. For example, these two numbering rules are fixed. Meanwhile, down below, you'll find default configurations for FM sort mark, CNC part name, and CNC part number instance parameters. These are flexible configurations. For example, you can switch to a different rule or choose to number a different parameter. You can also create your own sort mark rules and apply in this section of the dialog. So in this video, we will create new configuration for FM sort mark parameter for structural framing elements. To create new numbering configuration, we need to open up sort mark add-on. However, before that, we need to make sure that the new configurations will be saved in correct configurations file location. Therefore, firstly, make sure to copy this file path. At the moment, the numbering of FM sort mark parameter in structural framing elements vary by element cut length and other parameters. As you can see, for example, these common studs have the same FM sort mark value because cut length and other parameters do not vary in these elements. So if we want FM sort mark to be different in each framing instance, we can use framing element individual ID parameter in sort mark configuration. So let's open up sort mark add-on. You can learn more about SortMark on our eHelp webpage. Okay, so once you're in the menu, we firstly need to paste the file path that was copied from numbering configurations dialog a few seconds ago. Then head back to the menu and click on element numbering. Then select structural framing family category. And then FM SortMark parameter. In this dialog, we can find the same numbering rule that is currently set in Numbering Configurations dialog. In tabs below, you can make rules for calculating the FM sort mark parameter value. As mentioned earlier, the numbering of sort mark value varies by cut length and other several parameters. We want to replace these with the ID parameter. But first, let's duplicate and rename this configuration. Then, remove these parameters and replace them with instance ID parameter.
We can then modify sorting so that elements are numbered in ascending order according to element x coordinate positions. You can instantly number all elements by clicking OK, but this time I'll just save the configuration and click Cancel. When we go back to Number Configurations dialog, the new rule for FM sort mark can be found in the list. After choosing it, click Save and close the dialog. And then let's renumber all framing elements again. Now, as you can see, the FM sort mark values in each framing element vary in each instance. Finally, you can also use a different parameter in your tag labels, for example, mark parameter. To do this, select a tag instance, then go to Edit Family, then select Text Label and click Edit Label. And here you can choose Mark Parameter. Then load the family back into the project and use Sort Mark to create a new numbering configuration for this parameter, which can later be applied in numbering configuration settings. So that's it for this tutorial, thank you very much for watching and until the next time.